Oh, that's nice, Rourke said. He sidled away from her. What if she only wanted your liver, he demanded. What would you do then? Feed her yours anyways, Mommy Fortuna said. She wouldn't know the difference. Harpies aren't bright. Alone in the moonlight, the old woman glided from cage to cage, rattling locks and prodding her enchantments as a housewife squeezes melons in the market. When she came to the harpy's cage, the monster made a sound as shrill as a spear and spread the horrid glory of her wings. For a moment, it seemed to the unicorn that the bars of the cage began to wriggle and run like rain. But Mommy Fortuna cracked her twiggy fingers, and the bars were iron again, and the harpy sank down on its perch, waiting. Not yet, the witch said. Not yet. They stared at each other with the same eyes. Mommy Fortuna said, You're mine. If you kill me, you're mine. The harpy did not move, but a cloud put out the moon. Not yet, Mommy Fortuna said, and she turned toward the unicorn's cage. Well, she said in her sweet, smoky voice, I had you frightened for a little while, didn't I? She laughed with a sound like snakes hurrying through mud and strolled closer. Whatever your friend the magician may say, she went on, I must have some small art after all. To trick a unicorn into believing herself old and foul, that takes a certain skill, I'd say. And is it a two-penny spell that holds the dark one prisoner? No other till I, the unicorn replied. Do not boast, old woman. Your death sits in that cage and hears you. Yes, Mommy Fortuna said calmly, but at least I know where it is. You were out on the road hunting for your own death. She laughed again, and I know where that one is, too. "'but I spared you the finding of it, "'and you should be grateful for that.' "'Forgetting where she was, "'the unicorn pressed forward against the bars. "'They hurt her, but she did not draw back. "'The red bull,' she said. "'Where can I find the red bull?' "'Mommy Fortuna stepped very close to the cage. "'The red bull of King Haggard,' she muttered. "'So you know of the bull.' "'She showed two of her teeth. "'Well, he'll not have you,' she said. "'You belong to me.' "'The unicorn shook her head. You know better, she answered gently. Free the harpy while there's time, and set me free as well. Keep your poor shadows, if you will, but let us go. The witch's stagnant eyes blazed up so savagely bright that a ragged companion of Luna Moths, off to a night's revel, fluttered straight into them and sizzled into snowy ashes. I'd quit show business first, she snarled. Trudging through eternity, hauling my homemade horrors? Do you think that was my dream when I was young and evil? Do you think I chose this meager magic, sprung from stupidity, because I never knew the true witchery? I play tricks with dogs and monkeys because I cannot touch the grass, but I know the difference. And now you ask me to give up the sight of you, the presence of your power. I told Rook I'd feed his liver to the harpy if I had to, and so I would. And to keep you, I'd take your friend Schmendrick, and I'd... She raged herself to gibberish, and at last to silence. Speaking of livers, the unicorn said, Real magic can never be made by offering up someone else's liver. You must tear out your own and not expect to get it back. The true witches know that. A few grains of sand rushed down Mommy Fortuna's cheek as she stared at the unicorn. All witches weep like that. She turned and walked swiftly towards her wagon, but suddenly she turned again and grinned her rubbly grin. But I tricked you twice anyway, she said. Did you think that those gogglers knew you for yourself without any help from me? No. I had to give you an aspect they could understand, and a horn that they could see. These days it takes a cheap carnival witch to make folk recognize a real unicorn. You'd do much better to stay with me and be false, for in this whole world only the Red Bull will know you when he sees you. She disappeared into her wagon, and the harpy let the moon come out again.